Now Josh, as you will agree, is an intelligent man and this was especially evident when at Cousin Jace's 21st, Bridie asked Josh to dance. In Josh's words, who is going to turn down a dance with the prettiest girl in the room? She's my captain, she's the sea, she's the sun on my back, baby, leave me. It wasn't until years later we were having a barbecue, playing cards against humanity. It was that night that I remember looking at Josh in a different way for the first time, thinking, man, Josh got hot. <laughs> <laughs> now, I wasn't stoked to find out that my brother was dating my friend, to say the least. But given time, and the fact that I love them both so much, here we are. Josh, I wanted to say welcome to the family, but I already feel like you have been an important part of it for a long time. Friday, you are definitely destined to be part of our family. Clever, beautiful, assertive, and fun. I'm struggling already. Sure. <laughs> Drink. <laughs> I first met Bridie when she was uh, nine and a half years old. Even then, she was showing me her wedding plans and pictures of the dress. <laughs> Seriously. <Yeah. laughs> she's my captain, she's the sea. She's the sun on my back, baby. Folks, there's no greater privilege than to be asked to be the best man. And there's not a more terrifying prospect than having to do the best man's speech for your son. You've seen something in me that was overlooked by others. Just a little bit of product really works on me. Yeah. I hope I've done you proud. <laughs> when over in the UK, I really found out how awesome, kind, caring, and fun Josh and Bridie really are. But probably the most important thing I saw was the glimpses of how much these two really love each other. I can still remember when I was on my way home and you told me, I think I'm gonna to propose to Bridie tomorrow. And I still remember waiting on my phone the next day to find out the good news. Josh, it's been an absolute pleasure and a blast to be your best mate today. However, as much as I hate to say it, from here on, buddy, you're on your own. She's my captain, she's the sea. She's the sun on my back, baby. Josh, you have shown me more love. You got, you got this. Than I ever thought possible. <laughs> Good. I promise to greet you first when I get home and tell you I love you before I tell Nelson. <laughs> and I promise to make time for us no matter how crazy life gets. Like Albus Dumbledore said, we can't choose our fate, but we can choose others. I chose you a long time ago, and today I choose you forever. She's the sun on my back. She's everything. Mine's so much shorter. <laughs> I promise to take your heart and let it burn bright in a sanctuary of warmth and peace. And in return, I will give you mine. You have filled my life with hope, but it's not hope that I have for the future. I'm absolutely and unequivocally sure of our future. And as someone that is afraid of the unknown, you make it easy to not be afraid. I do not make these promises because I have to. I make them because it is a privilege to. It is a privilege to love you, and I will do that forever. You're the sun on my back, baby. Believe in me. Believe in me. Who's that? Who's close? Josh and Brian. No, no, yeah. Not yet. Now. Now. Josh and Brian are married at last. Josh and Brady having a blast. We're sorry, team, we can't be there. But we're sure that you drink a fair share. <laughs> Josh and Brady, we're happy for you on this December night. Happy days from Happy wedding night! There's a spark in you, there's a spark in me, so get up, get up, let's take the lead! Cheers to Mr. and Mrs. Stevens! Thank you.
Best wishes from the UK. Have a winning day. I think somewhere deep down I've always known we were meant to be together. Uh, we were both born on a Wednesday, uh, both born at 10 o'clock. I was a little bit early, but you were bang on time as per usual. <laughs> <laughs> Except for today. <laughs> Sorry I can't be there, Josh. No, seriously, well done, well done. It's not every day that you find someone willing to pack up their life and move halfway across the world for you. But you did it in a heartbeat and you never complained. You have so much empathy to give. The room becomes a warmer and brighter place as soon as you walk in. As you've heard from Josh, he's a very compassionate man and I fully expected him to make an emotional speech. It's the most sentimental love scene you since you watched Dumbledore come to a sticky ending in Half-Blood Princess. <laughs> Sure you grease it up. <laughs> well, what do you mean? What do you mean by that? Just it's the pan. You got to grease the pan. You got to grease the pan. <laughs> <laughs>